Welcome to the 2015 edition of the CS Principles for High School MOOC, sponsored by the Google CS for HS program. My name is Jeff Gray, and I'm a professor of computer science at the University of Alabama. I've been teaching CS Principles since 2011 as a pilot instructor for the College Board, and I also helped to edit one of the recent teaching modules for CS Principles. The College Board has been developing CS Principles as a future advanced placement course that will launch in fall 2016 with an official exam in May 2017. Many teachers are beginning to offer the course in their schools this fall to prepare for the official course the following year. CS Principles seeks to broaden the participation in computer science by providing an engaging and broad curriculum that showcases the diverse and exciting opportunities that are available in computer science. The CS Principles curriculum is based on seven big ideas. The big idea associated with creativity instills within students the understanding that computer science enables a different type of creative expression that allows the exploration of innovative ideas that are contextually situated around themes and topics of individual interest to each student. The concept of abstraction is a big idea that is introduced in the course as a core organization and problem solving concept that can help address the complexity of scalable computing solutions. In CS principles, students also learn about the big idea of data. Many areas of our life are captured as data and the ability to analyze data as a computational artifact can provide important insights. Algorithms are introduced in CS principles as a foundational idea for expressing the solution to a computational problem. Programming is another big idea that is taught in CS principles. Programming enables the expression of a creative solution to a computational problem. The CS principles course also introduces students to the underlying technical concepts of the internet such as how information flows across the internet, as well as topics related to security and cryptography. A very important big idea that crosscuts much of CS principles is a realization of the global impact that computing has in many different areas of our lives that we often take for granted. Our free course is primarily for high school teachers who would like to learn more about CS principles. The target audience is STEM or career tech teachers who have little to no background in computer science but who would like to learn about the course and understand the content and pedagogy needed to offer CS principles at their own school. Those who already have experience in teaching computer science may also benefit from the course through a better understanding of the CS principles curriculum. The course is open to everyone, including students of any age as well as college faculty. However, the main purpose of the course is to offer professional development to high school teachers who have an interest in learning more about CS principles. Registration is now open for the course, which begins the week of June 1st. The course will contain six weeks of instruction and end during the middle of July. We will take two weeks off at the end of June for the, you to work on a homework assignment and to celebrate the Independence Day holiday week. During the six weeks of the course, we estimate that participants will spend around eight hours per week on course activities. The activities include viewing instructional materials, following along with assigned readings, completing activities associated with each lesson, creating your own computational artifacts, and answering several assessments. Those participants who complete all of the activities and assessments in the course will receive a certificate of achievement. Across the United States, Google has also funded several other cs for hs events that will use the csp for hs MOOC for content, then offer a face-to-face -face event back in their community. Uh, five states, including California, Georgia, Indiana, Iowa, and Texas, will all be meeting later in the summer to have face-to-face -face engagement and discussing the content that, that's being um, provided here on this MOOC. The National Science Foundation is also sponsoring a work in Alabama called CS for Alabama, which is working to train uh, 50 high school teachers in CS principles. Throughout the course, you'll meet several guest speakers who will join us to offer their perspectives on various aspects of CS principles. Lynn Diaz from the College Board, Owen Astrakhan from Duke, and Fran Tree from Rutgers will offer some opening comments about their experiences in teaching CS principles. Brooke Osborne and Baker Frankie will update everyone on the new CS principles curriculum that's being developed at code.org. Bennett Brown will summarize the curriculum and training opportunities in Project Lead the Way's new computer science pathway. And we'll also offer other guest speakers throughout the, uh, the summer session. We have assembled an experienced team of CS Principles educators. Deepa Muraladar is a four 
year CS Principals pilot instructor from Georgia. She serves also on the development committee of the CS Principals for the College Board. Jill Westerlin and Gina McCarley are national pilot instructors from Alabama. Jeff Baker and Roy Black are also teaching CS Principals in Alabama. And Jill, Gina, Jeff, and Roy are master teachers in the CS for Alabama project. All of our assistants teach both CS Principals and the current CSA back at their own high schools. You will also have a chance to meet the University of Alabama staff. Jonathan Corley is a PhD student in computer science and has helped with several of the offerings of computer science principles in the past. Jake Trower is the author of Snappy Bird, which you'll become familiar with. He also has created several Blockly environments. Rachel Giles is our videographer for the course and is handling all the media needs. And Lydia Eubanks and Lori Springer are both secondary education math uh, teachers who are learning about CS principles and hope to teach it in their future high schools. There's three ways that you can interact with others throughout the course to ask questions and obtain information. The teaching staff will offer Google Hangouts for online office hours that are more personal. A weekly ha Hangout on air will also be provided as a synchronous way to address questions to the guest speakers that were mentioned earlier. Participants may also interact with each other through a special Piazza instance dedicated to the course. The course this summer builds off of some of the content we provided in the 2014 instance. Last year we had over 1,225 participants enrolled in the course, 588 were active, and we had participants from 46 states and several countries. So you can see some of the statistics here that we had from our last year's course. We will be building upon last year's content in several ways, adding new, new activities, new content, and we'll also be correcting some things that have changed about CS principles that are no longer true, such as uh, a, a new revision of the performance task and some of the content that we would like to update from the previous year. So we hope to see you on the uh, various news groups and the forums and the piazza and uh, discussing some of this content with you. Special thanks to Google for their support of this course through a CS for HS award. We're also grateful for the deep support provided by the National Science Foundation, especially Jane Cooney and the CE21 program, which funds our larger CS for Alabama project. So we look forward to seeing you online during the week of June 1st.